Hey friends, it has been a hot minute since I've actually filmed a grocery haul. It's been a really long time. Um, and so I thought I would just film, blah, blah, blah. I thought I would share with you what I got at the grocery store. So I recently had surgery and for those of you who've kind of been following along, I'm doing really well, feeling great, I'm still kind of tired. Um, and so I have fallen in love with the program where you just order your groceries online and then you go and you pick them up. Best thing ever. And recovering from surgery, this has been such an even better thing for me because I can't lift more than 10 pounds in pushing a grocery cart through the store and then hauling bags in and out of the store and yada yada and there's snow on the ground, you know, all the things. So this program is just absolutely amazing and I cannot sing its praises enough. So the groceries that I got, we are at Mother Hubbard's Cupboard level here <laughs> in our fridge and even in our pantry. Um, we've eaten through a lot of food and so this is a sort of big grocery haul for us. So let me go ahead and lay everything out and then I will flip you around and share with you what I picked up. Okay, so we have some cheddar cheese and then mozzarella cheese. We also have some mozzarella cheese strings. And then I was really disappointed with this. Um, normally I can get a jar of this exact um, Parmesan cheese flakes from Costco in a significantly bigger container. We're talking about much higher um, and much wider for probably around the same price. So that was a terrible buy, but sometimes it's difficult to know the size of things. Of course, obviously, they do tell you what it is online, but um, I don't really pay attention. Whatever. <laughs> this wasn't a great buy, but um, we also got some hard salami, sour cream, cottage cheese, and goat feta cheese. So delish. Some plain Greek yogurt. Um, two and a half dozen eggs. And then we also got this small um, ham. Now my plan for this is I'm sort of trying to ease away from deli meat and I would prefer to actually just kind of um, cook this up and cut it up and use this for sandwiches and in eggs and different things like that. So I know I won't do that every week and every time, but um, that is something that I do want to start trying to do. And the price of this was... Um, seven dollars and I usually pay more for deli meat than I do than I would have for this so this was a better buy for me this week at least two bunches of bananas we've been doing lots of smoothies for the kiddos and um, so we're going through bananas quite a bit more so I got two bunches and then two containers of white mushrooms these are one of my favorite sides they're so good sauteed up um, a package a of uh, shredded coleslaw mix and then um, cauliflower and some radishes I also got I just turned off my lights so you could hopefully see a little bit better it's evening time here um, I got celery some two bunches of green onions some romaine lettuce and um, this is two broccoli crowns and then I got two creams for coffee, but strangely enough, I have not drank coffee in almost two weeks, so, um, but I don't know, I'm sure I'll start drinking it again, because I really am missing it. Um, I also got this big container of grape tomatoes, a lime, a lemon, and a jalapeno, and a field cucumber, as well as a regular English cucumber, and then some garlic. A bag of carrots. I also got um, some zevia. I love the cola flavored. My husband brought me these flowers today, which is kind of fun. Um, and then frozen pomegranate seeds. I was so excited to see these. Um, we love my kids absolutely love pomegranates, and I've been kind of craving them too. And I love that they're already just taken from the, what do you call it, the, I want to say shell, but that's not what it is, um, but they're already de-seeded and just such a quick thing, they'll thaw quickly, so we could use these in yogurt, in smoothies, or just to eat as a side, so 
I'm excited about those. And then I also got some French style cut green beans. On this side, we got a two um, kilogram bag of brown sugar. Um, I'm not doing a lot of baking with things like brown sugar and white sugar, uh, but I do like to have it on hand. And I also am planning on making some sugar scrubs. I'd made some for Christmas, and I'm just about out of the one that I had made for myself, so I'm going to go ahead and make some more sugar scrubs, so I obviously needed that. Then I got four cans of this Just Tomato Sauce. Um, if you follow my grocery hauls, I usually get the Hunt's brand Just Tomatoes, and we use that for um, spaghetti sauce and for pizza sauce, anytime I need like a red sauce. Um, and I like the, these particular brands because they only have tomatoes and salt in them. Um, they don't have any added sugar. A lot of times pasta sauce has added sugar and tomatoes are already very sweet. So um, I do prefer these. Um, I'm using this brand now. First of all, it's a little bit cheaper than the Hunt's brand and it's a bit thicker. I find that the Hunt sauce kind of separates a bit. Um, and it's not very thick, so when you have a plate of spaghetti, kind of you get some water <laughs> from the um, sauce. So it's not from the spaghetti, it's from the sauce. Okay, so then we got some pineapple tidbits, some pear halves in water, and then um, a fruit cocktail. So these fruits, we had eaten through all of our canned fruit. I do like to keep canned fruit on hand for times when um, we have run out of fruit or we just need something a little bit different um, or to have kind of in emergency situations, but as well as just a stockpile. And we had eaten through almost all of the fruit that I had on hand. So I'm starting to kind of build that stockpile back up. The prices of these were not all that great. I mean, these cans were $3 each. Um, this one was $1.88. So these are not great prices. So that's why I only got a couple just to have on hand just in case. Um, but my plan is to build that pile back up. Okay, so then we got um, baking cocoa. I was almost out of that. And then the powdered um, uh, Parmesan cheese. I also got um, fractionated coconut oil, and this is not necessarily for cooking. This will actually be for some essential oil blends that I'm going to be um, putting together for myself. They need um, fractionated coconut oil uh, to dilute the oil with, so I ended up getting that because it was much cheaper <laughs> to get it um, at the grocery store. And then I also picked up a bag of organic coconut palm sugar. I like to use this for the kids. Um, it's really great in oatmeal and just to flavor things for them. Um, it is a lower glycemic sugar, meaning it's not going to spike their blood sugar as much as maple syrup or honey or any other kind of brown sugar or white sugar. Um, so I do like to have that on hand. It does taste a little bit kind of like a brown sugar. Um, it's quite good, and while it does spike your sugar, blood sugar just a little bit, no, it's not nearly as much as some of the other um, some of the other kinds that you can get. Okay, so um, this was something I can't even remember how I ended up going with this, but um, this was a suggested item. It is a fruit blend. They're all dried fruits. Um, I thought these would be good in um, maybe making some granola bars, but also just to make like a trail mix or just to have like a, as a little bit of a, a side or a, um, what do you call it? <laughs> a snack. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Um, as out of garlic powder, totally have been missing my garlic powder, so I needed that. And then we got some um, whole grain um, tortillas. Um, baby spinach. Again, we're doing lots of smoothies and I want to add um, this into the smoothies and then this baby spinach also just really makes a good salad. Okay, so I did end up getting these bars for the kids. Um, so this is banana berry. I've got two banana berry and then this one is berry pomegranate. Um, I am not buying granola bars for my kids so much anymore. Um, if at all, actually, because I do make them, but I don't make this kind with the fruit filling. And when I do buy them, 
I am checking the ingredients. Now the ingredient list here is quite long, um, but I was pretty satisfied with the ingredients of these. Um, they were a lot of most all ingredients that I could pronounce, and they were things that I knew what they were. Um, so, yes, I was not um, not at all very. Um, I felt okay with this purchase, so we got those. And then we got um, some whole wheat flour, a bag of pears, um, some red potatoes, and then a bag of gala apples. I love gala apples. A box of Triscuits and some 100% um, whole wheat craft dinner. Um, and lastly, we got a club size pack of ground hamburger. Okay, so these are the items that um, were non food. So, my favorite L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I always use this as kind of a topper on my lashes, no matter what mascara I'm wearing. It just makes them thick and look really good. So, this was on sale. I also picked up a bottle of Witch Hazel. Um, this was another thing that I thought was going to be a little bit bigger than it was, but um, that's okay. Again, I'm going to be using this um, in some essential oil preparations. I have some DIYs that I'm going to do, um, and I needed Witch Hazel for those things. And then same with the glycerin. Um, I did a lot of research um, because a lot of these recipes have called for vegetable glycerin. Um, and I did a lot of research and this is um, a vegetable glycerin as well. Um, if it has this USP um, from the research that I've done, it is actually a vegetable glycerin. It is just not labeled as such. So um, anyways, I picked up a bottle of that. So this is a new product for me. So this is Ecomax. Um, uh, tea tree toilet bowl cleaner. Um, so I'm anxious to try this. I um, switched to a natural toilet bowl cleaner um, a couple months ago and then there was this brand that had the tea tree oil in it. So I'm anxious to try this. It was the same price as just a conventional toilet bowl cleaner. Um, so anyways, I'm interested to see how this thing goes. Um, I do make a lot of my own cleaners. I'm thinking that the only one that I really don't make is my dish soap to wash my dishes. Um, I just use Dawn for that, but everything else we have pretty much gone um, eco-friendly. So anyways, we'll see how this goes. I'll let you know. Um, and then lastly, because our order was over $200, it was actually um, not counting um, the non-food items, it was $230, we got this free 22-piece snap lock um, Tupperware type set. So you get this big container that it comes in, it's huge, and then all these other pieces. So I'm going to be honest, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff because... This is my Tupperware cupboard, and I actually use glass. Um, I have a couple, like, I have two that are plastic, but everything else is glass for the most part. I've got a couple of plastic bowls up there, um, and as you can see, my cupboard is full. Um, it's all organized really well. I do have a video about this on my channel. It's the same exact system that has worked for me. I don't know when I organized it, probably two years ago. Um... So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with all this, but this might make a great gift for somebody or who knows. Um, but yeah. So there's the grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.